Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Sin on the Chat. My name is Sin, all right? I hope everyone is doing great out there. I hope everyone is healthy, staying strong and staying positive during these crazy ass times, okay? Um, so, well, first of all, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, like this video, just like it right now. Like if you're healthy, if you're happy, if you're strong, if you're doing well, go ahead and hit the like button. You know what I mean? Like, look out for your girl. You are supposed to help each other out during this time, right? So what I want to talk about today is the controversy surrounding the pandemic and like reopening and everything else, right? We have come to a point in society, this, this entire pandemic has caused a huge cultural divide okay okay it, it reminds me of the vaccine and anti-vaxxing groups okay this is like it has the same effect if you even talk about going out or wanting to reopen there is a group of people that will hunt you down like online like and jump you verbally jump you and if you're asking for longer uh quarantine times like same same effect you know what i mean you're gonna have people jumping down your throat that is just what this thing has done um so i saw that two chains for example him and his business partner were talking about opening up their restaurants down in georgia it was received with a ton of backlash people were like are you fucking crazy like what are you doing like you, for dining because he, he was going to open it um, for dining seating. Okay. But you know, they had said that they were going to, um, you know, take precautions to make sure that, you know, they did their part and, um, you know, trying to slow the spread, you know, and be as careful as possible, but people were not hearing it. They're like, yo, two chains, are you going to have people sitting gathered up in a restaurant? Like, yo, this shit ain't over. You know what I mean? Like you bugging the fuck out. Like, and so here's my thing. I'm somewhere in the middle with it. Like, I understand. Like, and if, if, let me just mention, like, after Two Chains and his business partner, um, and we're, we're going to refer to Two Chains because we don't know his business partner. Like, Two Chains with it. Like, I understand. Like, and if, if, let me just mention, like, after Two Chains and his business partner, um, and we're, we're going to refer to Two Chains because we don't know his business partner. Like, Two Chains is the face, you know, he's a celebrity. He's the one that we know. We don't know his business partner. Well, I don't know his business partner and I'm sure most of you don't. So after all of the backlash, Two Chains fell back and he said, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna wait this out. You know what I mean? We're not gonna open just yet. Even though the state of Georgia has officially reopened for business. Okay. The governor there, uh, I think his name is Brian Kemp he is all for the reopening of georgia okay and there is a debate even there because their own mayor and her name is keisha uh, i think is uh wait, let me look at my notes because i know i took some notes down before i did this i want to make sure i got her name right uh keisha lance bottoms she said no what the fuck the hell with this um reopening like people are gonna die you know what i mean so even between governors and mayors within the same state, there is this huge raging debate between opening and not opening. Okay. Um, if you guys didn't see both sides make good valid points, my, might I add, you know what I mean? Um, Gilly the kid had an interesting take on this. Okay. And this is one that I really didn't think about. Okay. But I want y'all to, if you didn't see what Gilly the kid, you know, if you don't know who Gilly is, Gilly is a legendary rapper from Philly. He used to be down with major figures back in the day. Um, wrote for little Wayne. He was down with cash money in them and everything. Like, so Gilly's valid. Um, this is what Gilly had to say. So I just seen some shit earlier that, Atlanta's supposed to be opening up this week, huh? Atlanta back open, huh? Y'all happy as shit, you stupid ass niggas. Why the fuck they opening Atlanta the fuck up first? The blackest city in America. You niggas don't see the motherfucking blitz going down. Omaha! Omaha! 38 right blast on the 59's the mic. Y'all don't see the fucking blitz going down. 
They opened up the blackest motherfucking city in America first. So let them niggas run out there. They do the test run. Let them niggas go ahead and run. Y'all fucking guinea pigs in Atlanta. Y'all so fucking happy. Can't wait to be at a motherfucking day party. Hey, do the stinky lane. You bitches be at a death party at night. Niggas can't wait to be at a, at, at a motherfucking day party ordering up the corona. Let me get the coronavirus specials. Yeah, let me get two of them straight. Mm -mm. Not on, no, no chaser. I want the coronavirus straight. No motherfucking chaser. Niggas is crazy, man. Why the fuck they ain't open Utah up? Why they ain't open Montana up? Ain't shit out there but snow and fucking cows. Why the fuck they ain't open that shit up? But they opened up Atlanta. Because they know you goofy ass niggas. Don't got no discipline. You gonna run around, give it to all the old heads. You see all they, they knocking all the old heads off. Cause at the end of the day, they're like, who, who gives a fuck about the old heads? They already live, they like, we ain't trying to get them niggas no goddamn pension or nothing. No social security or nothing. So y'all just gonna put all the old motherfuckers at risk. Niggas is crazy, man. Y'all gotta smarten up, man. Y'all niggas don't see they putting the goddamn one and twos down on you. Right! What are your thoughts on that? He made some valid ass points. But again, to be fair, um, they're not just opening Atlanta. They're opening the entire state of Georgia. So I'm not sure what the uh, population of blacks and the population of whites are in uh, Georgia. I don't know if there's more blacks than there are whites or whatever it is. Um, but he nonetheless, he made some great points. Uh, and I, Jermaine Dupri, um, spoke about the things that Gilly the Kid said and, you know, and he kind of piggybacked off what Gilly said pretty much. And he, G Jermaine Dupri, you know, said that he was a little bothered by the things that people were saying about Atlanta, like basically making, like, he felt like people were characterizing, uh, Atlanta residents as like buffoons kind of like just like ignorant like dumb like they just want to be out there flashing money going out going to the club getting their hair done and that's what it was all about i mean he didn't like that representation he didn't like the the, the image that was being depicted about people from atlanta okay so he spoke out about that but he kind of agreed with what gilly said he said you know it's not the time like people are gonna die so what do you guys think about this whole debate like well, do you think we should reopen as a country. You know, there are states that are in the process of reopening right now. Um, and there are reopening phases in place, you know, so that we don't just open all at once. But Georgia apparently opened all at once from my understanding. If, if you're in Georgia right now, um, comment below and let me know what it's like. Let me know what, what your thoughts are. Are you going out? Are you partaking in any other uh, activities out there, you, you know, frequenting, uh, frequenting any, any bars or anything like that. Are the bars open down there? Let me know what it's looking like down there in ATL um, or any part of Georgia. I'm curious to know what the people are going to do. Okay. But I hope that even with the reopening of certain places, I hope that people are going to take the proper precautions. This is my take. I think that this thing from the way they make this thing sound, it's like, it's the inevitable. It's like you go out, you're bound to catch the shit, especially if you're somewhere that's overly populated, right? Where I live right now, we don't have that many people. Um, I live in a huge state, okay, but we are spread out. Like, we are spread out. We have, we, don't, we only have like 1.3 million people, excuse me, in the entire state. I grew up in the Bronx where we had like one point. We had like a million point two people just in the borough. You know what I mean? So where I live now is completely different, small population for the size of the state. Um, and we're not all on top of each other. So it's different here. Um, but the way I look at it is like, you know, if I listen to the media, there was a, a time a couple of weeks ago where I was listening to the news every single day several times throughout the day listening to all the information coming out all the update it was just left and right left and right i was just like god damn like i gotta slow down because this shit is driving me crazy i i started to feel like i had this shit you know what i mean i was sitting here like oh my god my chest hurt i'm coughing I'm sneezing i'm checking my temperature i'm checking my kids i started to bug out you know like i wasn't even letting my kids 
go to their grandparents' house with their dad because I was just so afraid, you know, and everybody pretty much agreed that it was the right step to take because we were just so scared. We didn't know what in the world was going on. But now it seems like, okay, as far as where I'm at, like it's kind we have a really low rate. Um, it doesn't, you know, it seems like, I don't know, like it's not spreading as fast. So we're just like, we're still cautious, but you know, we kind of relaxed a little bit, but I mean, even, even with that, like our, our authorities are telling us do not relax. Like, but I still go out, I disinfect my hands. I sanitize, I wash when I get in the house, you know, and I take all of those um, precautionary measures, but there's nowhere for us to go anyway. So I'm not mingling with anyone. I have been pretty much in isolation. I haven't had any encounters with anyone in over a month, you know? Um, so I do pick up groceries and things like that, you know, and keep my distance. But what do you guys think? I feel like that the way that they make this thing sound is like, you're bound to catch this shit. It's like, do we just catch it and get the shit done and over with and hope for the best? Because, it, you know, from what they're saying is like, you're likely to catch it and like come, come out on the bad end of it if you have a compromised immune system. Okay, so you, if you're not in good health, you know. Um, but, but then they have some people that are young that are, you know, coming out messed up too, which is, is rare, but it's still happening. And then kids, they said at first kids weren't affected by it. Now there was a kid that died, you know, it's just so much conflicting information. So I think it's best to just act like everybody has this shit and be careful. But I want to know what you guys think about the reopening. Okay. They're saying there isn't going to be any vaccine for at least another 18 months. And even when that hits, there's not going to be a supply enough supply for everyone you know, when that 18 month mark arrives, like that's going to be a process in itself to get it out to the people. So, and, you know, and then once you catch it, they're saying that, yeah, you can catch it again. You know, so I really don't think there's any way to contain this. I don't think that any time is a right time to come out because according to what they're saying, right, whether you reopen in, 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 in whether it's a gradual process of reopening is just like, it's going to spike up. The numbers are going to spike up unless this thing goes away in the summertime, the numbers are guaranteed to spike up with even a gradual reopening of the States, right? That's just my take. Like it's just going to happen. So when is the right time? Do, do we just stay closed until there is enough vaccination for every single human being? in our country like is that the answer honestly i don't think that I, we cannot as an economy we cannot that's not sustainable right i'm a little freaking out because like i have a small business you know what i mean i got a small little cleaning business my business was be jumping in the summertime but that's that takes a back seat to my life that takes a backseat to my children's lives, you know, to someone else's lives. Like the money aspect of it, you know, it, it, it's secondary to, to everyone's well being. Let's just make that clear. But I mean, these are valid concerns. What are we just going to live off of $1,200 a month? Hell no, we can't do that. You know, we can't do that either. So it's like, what, what do we do? What is the right answer? Where is the right balance? You know, how do we save this economy, save our homes, save our, save our households? How do we provide for our families while staying quarantined? You know, and that's kind of where I'm at with it, you know, so let me know what you guys think um, on this. I'm curious to, to hear what other people have to say. Um, and, and I am open to discourse to civil discourse and to have this dialogue i really know i really want to know what everybody thinks about this um and i know other everybody has different reactions and, and different opinions on this and that's welcomed here um my brother he's a nurse and he's a nurse in the tri-state area so and he deals with a lot he's been seeing a lot of death like on a daily basis like numbers 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 
and he works with elderly people and it is taking a toll on him and so anytime he hears anything about reopening he's like fuck no and he's like going off but i mean and i understand i can't that's like being in war you know what that shit does to someone to see constant death you know um but it's, I, in my opinion, it's just not sustainable um, economically to stay closed for 18 months. I just, I don't know. What do you guys think, you guys? Let me know your thoughts on this, all right? I'm curious. I want to hear what you got to say, all right? If you're in Georgia especially, I want to hear from you. If you're somewhere, I know Florida, some parts of Florida opened up. You know, let me know your take on it and how, how everything is where, where you're living and where you're at, all right? So I'm out. I know this is kind of a different um, discussion, but like I said before, my, my last video, I want to talk about the things that I want to talk about. And this is what, this is what's going on in the world right now. So I want to know what you guys think about this. All right. Also, um, like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. All right. Um, like this channel. I'm getting ready to go outside and walk. Just, I just want to take a walk, get some air in, um, probably go grab some chick-fil-a i don't know maybe i shouldn't because my ass and gained about 15 pounds since i've been in this house shit ain't cute so um let me know your thoughts all right y'all i'm out subscribe like and i'm gonna make a video later on because quite honestly i'm fucking bored like i'm bored so i'm gonna make a bunch of videos my kids left they went with the dad i'm here dolo i'm gonna be dropping videos i'm out